You know, it's funny, I never believed any of the NASA conspiracy theories until very, very recently. I always thought it was nonsense that NASA cut the feed, and I now realize. On October 30th, 2025, millions of people around the world watched an interstellar visitor called 3i Atlas swing around our sun, and the world went silent. What started as a routine observation quickly turned into one of the most puzzling moments in modern astronomical history. Live streams that had been running perfectly fine for hours suddenly froze. Data overlays stopped updating mid-frame. At the exact same time, several radio observatories across Europe and North America detected structured transmissions, repeating pulses, coming from the precise coordinates where 3i Atlas was located. And within hours, NASA locked down every data source connected to the event public databases, telescope feeds, even archived mirrors that had been freely accessible for years, all went offline with the same message, system temporarily unavailable. At first, people thought it was just technical issues, but then observatories in Chile, Japan, and South Africa started reporting the same thing. Sudden access restrictions, revoked credentials, and unexplained communication delays. The coincidence was too perfect. It left astronomers and the general public asking the same question. What did we just witness? Was it a routine cosmic encounter? Or the moment humanity came face to face with something we weren't ready to understand? 3i Atlas wasn't supposed to be anything special. It was discovered months earlier by a sky survey scanning for asteroids. Just another faint object moving through the deep night sky. But its trajectory immediately stood out. It wasn't bound to the sun's gravity like everything else we know. This thing came from interstellar space, a traveler from beyond the solar system, entering at tremendous speed. And it wasn't behaving like a normal comet. Most comets release gas and dust when heated by sunlight, forming a bright, fuzzy tail. 3i Atlas stayed sharp and clean, almost metallic in appearance, as though it was built from something entirely different. That's when agencies around the world began paying attention. NASA, ESA, and the Japanese Space Agency all reoriented their telescopes toward it. Even private observatories cleared their schedule to observe the object during its closest approach to the sun. The morning of October 30th was supposed to be a triumph for astronomy, a rare chance to watch an interstellar visitor pass through our neighborhood. Thousands of amateur astronomers tuned in to NASA's official live stream and to smaller YouTube channels running simultaneous coverage. The feed showed a bright, clearly defined object gliding toward the sun. Comments filled with excitement and questions. People from across the world were watching history unfold in real time. Then at 11, 47, 12 UTC, the screen froze. At first, everyone assumed it was buffering, but after a few seconds, the chat exploded with confusion. Different viewers began reporting different experiences. Some said their feed froze instantly. Others claimed they saw the object brighten for a few seconds before the image cut out. And strangely, some users' streams never froze at all. They kept running normally, showing slightly different visuals than the archived version NASA later uploaded. When people compared screenshots, it became clear that not everyone had seen the same thing. While the public was arguing over whether it was a technical glitch or deliberate censorship, radio astronomers were seeing something far more unusual. At nearly the exact moment the feed froze, radio telescopes in Germany, Canada, and Chile detected a repeating narrowband signal coming from the same coordinates as 3i Atlas. It wasn't random noise. It wasn't satellite interference. The pulse spacing was mathematically precise, perfectly timed bursts of energy repeating in a structured sequence. Radio technicians verified it against every known database of natural cosmic signals. Pulsars, quasars, solar bursts, none matched. And crosschecks confirmed it wasn't coming from any known spacecraft or Earth-based transmitter. Whatever it was, it came from space, and it was synchronized perfectly with the visual blackout. When amateur radio operators caught wind of the detection, they started scanning the same frequency range with their home equipment. Within hours, recordings began appearing online, faint but consistent. Operators from Australia to France picked up fragments of the same pattern, 
Each recording was slightly offset by the observer's location, yet all of them lined up perfectly in time, once adjusted for signal delay. The implication was clear. Something intelligent, or at least structured, had transmitted from the region around 3i Atlas. By afternoon, the story had reached the mainstream. News outlets asked NASA for a statement. Within an hour, one appeared on their official website calling it unconfirmed interference. Then without warning, it was deleted. The cached version showed a short two-paragraph note blaming data interruptions and transmission artifacts. No technical details, no analysis, and within minutes, all official references vanished. It was as if the message had never existed. What followed was even stranger. NASA quietly triggered an internal data protection directive, a rarely used security protocol, usually reserved for biohazard discoveries or national defense incidents. The directive automatically restricted access to all telemetry, imagery, and observational data tied to 3i Atlas. Researchers who were logged into NASA's public archives found themselves suddenly locked out. Even long-standing research partners and universities lost access without explanation. This wasn't a simple maintenance window. It was a coordinated digital shutdown. But NASA doesn't control every telescope on Earth. Independent observatories in Chile and Japan continued tracking 3i Atlas after the blackout began, and their findings only deepened the mystery. The Chilean team measured the object's albedo, or reflectivity, and got numbers that didn't make sense. Typical comets reflect less than 10% of sunlight. They're dark, dusty, and irregular. 3i Atlas reflected far more light than expected, almost as if its surface was metallic or polished. At first, the astronomers assumed a calibration error. They ran diagnostics, everything checked out. The readings were real. At the same time, Japan's Subaru telescope recorded small but measurable deviations in the object's trajectory. It wasn't following the path predicted by gravitational models. Something appeared to be nudging it. Tiny, deliberate corrections, consistent and directional. Yet there was no visible outgassing, no tail, and no solar radiation pressure that could explain the motion. It was moving through space with control. Infrared imaging added another anomaly. Objects passing near the sun normally heat up rapidly, emitting strong infrared signatures. 3i Atlas stayed cold. Its surface temperature didn't match any known natural material exposed to that level of solar radiation. Instead, it behaved like something highly reflective, rejecting heat rather than absorbing it. By now, word of the anomalies had spread across scientific networks. Then suddenly, data repositories that had always operated under open access began pulling their files offline. The European Space Agency quietly moved its observation logs into private review mode. University labs found their access credentials revoked. Graduate students who had been analyzing comet data discovered that their files had been erased from shared servers. Even private observatories stopped responding to inquiries, referring all questions to their national science agencies. No official explanations were given. The pattern was clear. Something had happened and no one was allowed to talk about it. Weeks later, when the media cycle had moved on, Radio operators began detecting something faint, a repeating signal, almost lost in background noise. It came from the outer solar system, just beyond Mars's orbit, aligned perfectly with where 3i Atlas should have been after its solar pass. The signal was weaker this time, pulsing in the same mathematical rhythm as before. It lasted only minutes, then disappeared into silence. Technicians reviewing their logs noticed the same timestamp pattern as the October event. Once again, NASA declined to comment. Public databases showed nothing unusual, but archived local logs from independent observatories confirmed the detection. Whatever had sent the first signal had sent another further out as if saying goodbye. To this day, no official report has explained what really happened during the 3i Atlas perihelion event. NASA maintains that no evidence of artificial origin exists, but the sequence of events, the livestream freeze, the structured transmission, the data lockdown, 
and the silent retreat beyond Mars remains one of the strangest alignments of anomalies in modern space history. Perhaps it was all coincidence. Perhaps it was something natural. We simply don't yet understand. Or maybe, just maybe, it was the first whisper from the stars, answered only with silence. Thanks for watching another episode. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.